A Louisville woman is the final million dollar winner in Kentucky's vaccine incentive campaign. But with the shot at a million lottery now over, WDRB's Lawrence Smith tells us what's next to try to get more Kentuckians vaccinated. Here at the Capitol, Governor Andy Bashir says his vaccine lottery campaign was a success. But he says it's now up to the private sector to get more shots in the arms of Kentuckians. Mary, you are our third winner of a million dollars. Governor Andy Bashir and family giving the good news by phone to Mary Mattingly of Louisville. Mattingly on a road trip when she became the state's final shot at a million winner. I told the governor that I wanted to use this opportunity to encourage each of you to get the shot of hope. The same message from registered nurse Jamar Watley of Louisville. His son Jaden, one of the final winners of a full ride college scholarship. Please get the vaccine. Uh, we're tired, <laughs> but we're going to keep fighting a good fight. Bashir says the number of Kentuckians vaccinated has increased by 50 percent to nearly two and a half million since the sweepstakes began in June. But he admits part of the reason is the growing fear of the Delta variant. When we announced this, it stabilized it. Um, it was moving up some uh, before the Delta variant uh, uh, took off. But certainly since then, uh, we have seen more people get uh, vaccinated. With the state incentive now over, Bashir says private companies will be the next major driver of vaccinations. The Delta variant is so serious, I think you're going to see a lot of private sector or, or quasi public sector entities requiring vaccinations. And Bashir says he is still in talks with leaders of the General Assembly about a possible special session on a new plan to fight COVID. I'll take whatever tools they will give me and I will fight my hardest. How successful we can be depends on the level of tools that, that we get. Bashir says he would like lawmakers to pass a statewide mask mandate, but the leaders of the Republican General Assembly say that is very unlikely to happen. At the state capitol in Frankfurt, Lawrence Smith, WDRB News.